Welcome everyone to this special edition of All Things Automotive. We are glad you are here. We'll be joined soon by our friends from ARM, and we will talk about SGV, environmental parity, our own EC2, Graviton instance, uh, and SOFIT. That's right. And if you didn't catch all of those acronyms and services, stick around and learn some more with us. Yeah, and uh, we'll, share, we'll have a lot of great insight in this special episode of All Things Automotive. Welcome everyone, I'm Dean Phillips, Worldwide Tech Lead for Automotive at AWS. Hello everybody, I'm Stefano Marzani, Worldwide Tech Leader for Autonomous Driving, also at AWS. I'm from the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan. I have automotive in my blood. I can't think of a better industry to be in at this time. When you combine technology and cars, it's the best. Yeah, absolutely exciting news to be in. I'm originally from the Italian Motor Valley, land of good food and powerful engines but loving computers too. Right now I'm in the Silicon Valley, right? Trying to get the best out from cars and computers. Well, I had a chance to sample some of your homeland at the Motor Valley there Fest this summer. And the cars were fantastic, but the Lambrusco you talk about, yeah, that was I, pretty I good. I just got a bottle here for a show. <laughs> well, good, good. Well, I'm happy that we're back in the States and able to be here today with our friends from ARM. And without further ado, let's... Oh, I got this, because oh, I was at okay. the Indie Autonomous Challenge a few weeks ago, and they started the race of these robo cars with uh, crank your engines and start your software. I like that better. So let's get under the hood with ARM. At AWS, we work with a number of customers and partners, but our collaboration with ARM is particularly interesting when you consider their focus on automotive semiconductor solutions. Yeah, and it's not just automotive, in fact. They are literally powering billions of devices out there, from car, computers, uh, smartphones, tablets, right. agriculture, machineries. It seems like they're kind of trying to build a ubiquitous compute platform for everything. That's right, right. yeah. So, and uh, cloud technologists have a big part on it. Absolutely. So why don't we bring Girish out and uh, have him introduce himself? Come on out, Girish. Hi, hey. welcome. Welcome Stefan. to the show. Welcome. Thank you. It's Please. like late night show for geeks here. <laughs> yes, exciting times. <laughs> so let's tell us a little about yourself. So my name is Girish Rasud. Um, I'm a director in ARM, looking after the software solutions, architectures for automotive and high performance IoT segments. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Um, and uh, yeah, um, before ARM, uh, I've been working around two decades in software solution architectures for um, for automotive um, and defense industries. Then moved on to Intel mm -hmm. to look um, after the system architectures for the next generation SOCs, and then moved into um, well, I'm focusing very much into automotive now. Awesome. That's really awesome, right? And it's awesome to, to have you here because you. a lot of things are going on in the semiconductor industry. Exciting right? times. So some of them are bad, like yeah. the chip shortage. That yeah, with all the ships out in the bay right now. Yeah, exactly. But other interesting things going on, like yes. uh, most automotive OEMs, they're trying to consolidate the architecture, going for big computers inside cars, maybe multi-core, so one big computer yeah. instead of having 100 plus CPUs uh, yes. around the car. And then a lot of folks are trying to, you know, produce okay. their own chips. Yeah. So, and, you know, car makers becoming not only software companies, as we often say, but chip companies too. <laughs> Quite surprising. Yeah, so Gersh, we've been working for months, you know, kind of an intense collaboration. Yes. And something big happened on September 15th when we announced Sophie. Yes. Uh, if you think about that, not only did we do that, and then in October, yeah. Stefano and some folks from our team created uh, a workshop to demonstrate and the new the ARM technology and the environmental parity we get from, com, you know, car computer to the cloud. So, putting all of that together, how in the heck did we get all of this done in such a short period of time? Yeah, I think that's um, that's what happens when two companies with aligned vision uh, yeah. come together. So, yeah, I mean, as ARM, we have been working with quite a lot of OEMs, tier ones, uh, in defining their next generation software defined vehicles. And one trend that we see clearly, as Stefano mentioned, is the consolidation or what we are trying to call now as the data center on wheels. Yeah. But in addition to that, what we are seeing is because of that consolidation, the technologies on cloud, aka cloud native development, mm -hmm. is becoming prevalent into automotive. That is the yeah. second trend. 
And the third is the the, the value chain landscape for, 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 for in the automotive industry is changing. Yeah, yeah. and this this is it's really value chain. It's, absolutely, it's, it's not supply chain thing. It's really value chain. Yeah, it's, well, it's value the, chain. The way value is created in the sector is really changing. Absolutely, and this is where I think the ARM and AWS partnership is pretty unique because I think we bring in this end-to-end environmental parity, which I think is going to between from cloud to edge, which is going to be a game changer. Yeah, yeah this is a resonating concept that you already mentioned a couple of times, but what, what do you mean with environmental parity? Yes. <laughs> so that, that needs some explanation. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So environmental parity, what we, uh, what we, uh, the way we see it is it's creating the automotive edge that is a car um, in the cloud uh, with, um, in ideal case, an absolute environmental parity so that as a developer, I should be able to develop my applications in the cloud for all my shift left development to reduce the time to market, as well as my post sale deployment. So yeah, today it takes forever with the yes. different environments. Absolutely. And that is, that is, that is, I think, increasing the developer efficiency is one of the critical components that I think that we can bring in. And this is where ARM's AWS Graviton instances, when you can develop an application for an automotive de- uh, device on the cloud natively, that's amazing. Because uh, ARM Graviton are based on, uh, it's based on ARM, yes. right? AWS Graviton two instances. Absolutely, right? and it's having the N1 CPU. So what we did is just went one step ahead and um, created a AVA developer platforms. These platforms that now you mm-hmm. can use um, for doing your automotive development with N1 CPUs. Mm-hmm. And these platforms, you can even put it in the back of your trunk. Interesting. So this is the, the, the sort of the end-to-end development um, efficiencies that you can get out of this environmental parity is amazing. That's really awesome. But uh, let's take a step back, maybe, mm-hmm. maybe because you know we work a lot together, but maybe not everybody is yeah. aware of what ARM is, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> so you are in billions of objects, so it's an architecture, but you are a company too, right? Yeah. Yes, we are. So, so yeah, ARM is, a, is, an, is an architecture instruction set. Um, but what we also do is we create an implementation of that architecture, create the CPU IPs, and these are the IPs that get into, we provide it to the, we license it to the silicon providers, mm-hmm. and they create SOCs. And yes, we are everywhere. Um, I think I just bought a laptop and a tablet or two yeah. from, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 with uh, that stuff in yeah. it. So, so now cool. you're doing ARM and ARM development. Yeah. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. And we are almost everywhere. I mean, we are talking about 200 billion uh, chips. That's the number. That have been, yeah. that That's have been produced That's um, in three decades that we have been in this industry, as well as 900 chips being created every second. So we are all in there. But what is more exciting is what we see the future in. That is the 5G, the cloud computing, um, ARM development that you mentioned, um, Dean. But even more exciting from my personal perspective is in the world of automotive and autonomy, where you're having this data center on wheels concept where you're becoming the disruptor. I I mean, I love that idea. But sometimes you think of a data center, it has that sprawl of, you know, different servers, different applications, all from different providers, kind of like what we see in cars with (coughs) these ECUs, up to 150 of them, again, from different suppliers developed in different ways. But if we take that high-performance computing capability that we've got with these new ARM designs, we consolidate everything onto a server, you know, on wheels, you know. Now we can now we can really do something. We can take advantage of that cloud-native speed. Isn't that beautiful? It is. It's awesome. So what is Sophie's role and what does it stand for? Okay, um, so let me start. So what Sophie is, is the acronym stands for Scalable Open Architecture for Embedded Edge. And um, as I mentioned earlier, in, the, uh, in one of the trends is we see the adoption of cloud native. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have software development in automotive. Um, the vision, um, yeah. the, the, the Nirvana state that we see as geeks and nerds, uh, we would love to sit in a cafeteria, being able to connect to a cloud, develop automotive software yeah. in the cloud wow. with platforms right. which have the parity needed. So typing, drinking coffee, and, and without that's applying it. to a test yeah. bench. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Use and stuff. Isn't that beautiful, right? I mean, yeah, and then awesome. you, you connect to that and then deploy it onto this millions of cars that are going around in there. So this is a great vision. Uh, but we do realize that to get to that, I mean, it's a, it's a journey. There are quite a few challenges. And this is exactly what Sophie is trying to address. So um, Sophie, as part of Sophie, 
we have around three components, three mm-hmm. key components in that. One is the architecture, where then one of the key aspects is how can you take the existing cloud native um, infrastructure and extend it for um, automotive um, software development, which has real time and safety criticality mm. taken into consideration. Uh, the second aspect is just having the architecture is not enough. You need mm. to have a reference implementation yeah. to see the ecosystem. Of course. So it, it is another reference implementation. Um, and the third one is, as we know, these are some of major, I mean, some, some complex problems mm-hmm. that we are trying to solve, which only one company cannot solve. Um, and this it's is an ecosystem where, play, as we yeah. always say, for the automotive. Exactly. And this is where what we are trying to do is, uh, there is the third component comes in, that is the special interest group, wherein ARM, AWS, and a few of our other partners across the value chain are coming together mm-hmm. to try to solve this problem. And this is where it really gets exciting yeah. for us. Interesting. It's really interesting, yeah, especially when you think about all the autonomous and ADAS development that's going on. But not just that. I mean, if we think about just regular uh, function, vehicle functions, you know, ECUs, um, trying to create those virtual ECUs that we talked about, Sophie can really is really going to make that happen, right? That nirvana we talk about. Absolutely. And this is where I think, um, because one of the key aspects of Sophie is how do you abstract? How do you create mm-hmm. these standard abstractions um, that can scale across cloud and the, uh, to the edge? Right. And this is what I think Sophie can accelerate by creating those um, abstractions to enable those virtual SEC, uh, VCUs, yeah. which gives you that system level parity mm-hmm. or the SOC level parity. Right. Um, so, um, another key aspect uh, around that is for us to provide a complete end-to-end dev kit, right, mm-hmm. to developers, because this is yeah, a new you concept. Need, need samples. Right? So, you, so, you need samples, you need a dev kit that a developer can just get started with it. And this is where um, another initiative that we quite recently announced um, on the 15th of October um, with Autobar Foundation um, called as Open AD Kit, yeah, wherein we are trying to put together the hardware ECU, the software that goes with it, connecting it all the way into the cloud so that you can do cloud-based development on AWS. Um, and it's all open AWS. source. And all open yeah. source. So developers um, can just uh, they go can on just the use it website and, and use absolutely. it. Absolutely. So that what we are talking about as part of the cloud native, you can actually see it and you can start developing your code on it. And this is what we are creating is an infrastructure. You can scale this infrastructure for other automotive software like IVI, digital cockpit, and so on and so forth. So, so this, this, is not, this is not specific to autonomy. This is an infrastructure yeah, that yeah. we are trying to create yeah. to scale. And I have the impression it's going, it will go beyond yeah. automotive too, most yes. probably. Yes, that's, so that's, 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 really that's a great point. Yeah, that's a great point. So that's really awesome. And uh, But Girish, what's next for uh, for ARM? And what's next for ARM and the AWS? Yeah, this is where it really gets exciting. Wherein I think the environmental parity aspects that we spoke about, we were talking about instruction set parity. Mm-hmm. It's about now extending it to system mm-hmm. level parity and SOC parity and see how can these virtual platform work best on our on, on mm-hmm. Graviton. I think that is certainly so going one aspect. outside the CPU a bit. Yes, yes. Yeah. And the second aspect that um, uh, that we we from ARM uh, initiative that we started is this virtual hardware target that we quite recently announced for mm-hmm. IoT, we intend to extend it. We would love to extend it for the natural extension will be automotive. Uh, it's a huge value to the industry. Yeah, absolutely. And the third uh, to thing to look forward to this SOFI initiative that we are working towards, wanting to create a reference architecture, wouldn't it be beautiful for some aspect of it inside the car for yeah, production? Yeah. yeah. A SOFI car. A SOFI <laughs> car, yes. Yeah. 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 We absolutely need that, absolutely. of course. <laughs> yes. So, Dean, what do you think? I think it's, uh, as we say in AWS, yeah. to me, it seems another thing done on behalf of the developers, developers and yeah. developers in general. I think it's really simplifying their life. Absolutely. And accelerates the everything that we can do in the automotive industry to transform this business that all our customers are working hard to do. So, thanks again, uh, Girish, for coming out and spending this time with us to talk about all this exciting stuff with ARM and our, our uh, customers together, especially around Sophie. Thank you very much. Thanks for inviting me yeah. and Stefano. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for joining us today on this special episode of All Things Automotive with ARM. Yeah, and the Consumer Electronics Show is just around the corner. That's right, the new car show. We'll have over 12 demos on display of automotive solutions from our customers and partners. Yeah, and as a reminder, please check the previous episodes of All Things Automotive on YouTube and follow the hashtag AllThingsAutomotive on Twitter and LinkedIn. Please, let's keep in touch. 
So that's it. We've reached the finish line with this special episode of All Things Automotive with Arm. And watch for announcement about the next season of All Things Automotive. Thank you.